हेलो एवरी वन सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट द हैंड स्यून एंड टू एंड गट एंड अस्टमोसिस ऑन अ आर्टिफिशियल गट एंड इट विल बी अ स्टेप बाई स्टेप गाइड फॉर ऑल द सर्जी टेनिस सो इट वॉज ए वेरी लॉन्ग पेंडिंग डिमांड ऑफ माई ऑल द व्यूअर्स ऑन द यूट्यूब एंड ऑन अवर ऐप बट आई कुड नॉट अपलोड दिस वीडियो ड्यू टू प्रोफेशनल कमिटमेंट सो हेयर इट इज सो दिस अनाउंसमेंट इज फॉर ऑल द ऐप यूजर्स दैट दिस वीडियो विल बी अवेलेबल अंडर टू कोर्स हेड दैट विल बी अंडर गट एनास्मोस एंड सूचरिंग कोर्स सो यू कैन व्यू इन आई दफ दैम फ्रेंड्स वी हैव अपलोडेड मेनी वीडियोज अंडर बेसिक एंड अवान सर्जिकल दिस सूचरिंग एंड गट एनास्मोस सीरीज एंड आई होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी वॉच दैम बिकॉज इट इज वेरी असेंशियल दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स बिफोर जम्पिंग इन टू द टेक्निक्स इफ नॉट डू वॉच दैम टू हैव ए बेटर ग्रैस ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट read the detailed disclaimer in the comment section or description also and these videos are meant for education purpose only so before we jump uh, to the video uh, there will be a quick recap i'll just uh, quickly run through the theoretical part of the corneal suture because this is the suture we use while uh, anastomosing at the corners and anastomosing or opposing the uh, anterior layer so it is required and with that i also urge all the viewers on the youtube that do download our app available for android and ios for have a better understanding better learning to have exclusive access to our premium content the link for everything is given in the description of this video with that let's start with quick review recap of the corneal suture so i hope you have already watched all the episode in this series if not do watch them and at least uh, watch the video on lambert suture because then you have a better grasp of this episode so fellow surgeons trainees app users get ready to immerse yourself in the world of cushing and corn sutures in 1886 sir cushing described this continuous seromuscular suture and you have to understand it is the same suture as the lambert only thing is that it takes bites parallel to the incision line so friends uh, just remember in i mean in today's practical world we use this corneal suture while we are doing the hand sewn anastomosis so always make sure that you take part of the submucosa in your bite and then you will have a lesser chance of leak corneal suture or cushing suture for that matter uh, provides a good uh, apposition good tissue inversion and provides a reliable leak proof leak proof seal It is a repetition of talk that corneal suture extends into the lumen and mucosa is always taken in the bite of the suture. So this is the pectoral depiction. Again, it is the same Cushing suture and corneal suture. They are same except that in the corneal we have taken bite through and through, and mucosa is taken. Uh, you will understand better as we demonstrate it uh, in the uh, surgery. Now we are demonstrating the this uh, corneal suture. So here we have again gone through and through. we enter the part of the uh, inside the gut lumen and then we again we are coming back so it is a parallel suture and uh, as i said the basic difference between the two these two technique is that we are uh, taking part of the uh, mucosa in corneal suture and in a similar fashion we will go other side and friends i mean how to hold the needle how to uh, use the wrist movements we have already discussed and if you are somebody who has just entered into the field of surgery do watch this whole series uh, and uh, that will uh, help you uh, to have a smooth induction in this uh, field of suturing and again uh, basically the first year trainee or somebody who is just joining the surgery is the center of universe for us and these videos are not meant for uh, Uh, surgical pros uh, if you are already a seasoned surgeon then you may not find uh, these videos relevant to you so again we have taken this interrupted corneal suture and it will invert beautifully as you can see here and with that quick revision uh, let's start with the video so uh, i hope you have already watched this video uh, on the cushing and corneal sutures available on our app and on our youtube so the first part will be uh, first start with the mobilization of the gut uh, that will be like uh, you prepare the two uh, gut ends to be in a smooth that two ends they should be free of the fat and they should be well vascularized and you start placing two stitches 
so uh, we start uh, with two stitch at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock position and the uh, friends uh, as i have said many times before also that uh, there can be thousands ways of doing things and uh, all of them can be correct but you have to follow one technique you have to practice one technique master one technique master one technique to have consistent good result so if you are following our channel our app then this is the best way we, we can teach you so we will start with the two angle stitch at 12 o'clock one will be at mesentric end and at the one will be at the anti mesentric end so in case even if there is a luminal discrepancy one is a larger gut one is a smaller gut then also these uh, angle stitch will be very helpful so follow this technique uh, in the verbatim in uh, basically and you will have a uh, good results so align the guts properly and uh, they should be tension free uh, they should be lying uh, well opposed to each other uh, the handling should be very very gentle as the cat hold the kittens and this phrase i have repeated over uh, many times so uh, if you are rough with the gut then the gut will not pardon you so hold it like a baby so uh, two stitches are taken that can be silk or cat gut uh, 3020 on rod body uh, to save the suture we have kept the suture length short but you should keep the adequate length so that these uh, sutures does not uh, interfere or get intermingled while you doing the gut anastomosis you may have to watch uh, these videos time and again uh, and follow these techniques uh, as shown here and we have not if you noticed then we have not applied any knot these are just angle or stitch, stitch just to align the gut and with the help of two mosquito forceps we are holding the two ends keep reminding your assistant that you have to just hold under adequate tension that these two loops are just uh, facing each other and uh, again this is very important that you have to ensure proper gut orientation that gut is properly oriented oriented there is no tension no twisting uh, the mesentery is safe the gut is well vascularized the section 3 or the step number 3 will be that using the pds4 or double arm that is the preferred suture i have been using since the i mean beginning of this uh, channel i have already stressed upon so pds4 double arm we start with a stitch in the middle of the posterior layer as being demonstrated here in this video and uh, we stay approximately uh, 4 to 5 m from the edge uh, that is the adequate uh, basically gut uh, margin you have to take in the bite don't take too much uh, that will not be helpful and it will lead to more ischemia at the gut margins A good assistance is also warranted but if you follow the good technique then uh, that may also not be very important on the outcome all the steps are basically we have broken into small steps so that our junior trainees understand the uh, this concept better so uh, in, in practical life uh, whenever we are taking bites on a monofilament suture like pds 4 here we always uh, ask our sister or the scrub nurse to uh, spray with the ns so that our hands are wet and there is no friction and again this is important otherwise these sutures have tendency to break under friction so always uh, tie these knots under a jet of water so you have taken four to five knots as we follow the continuous suture technique then uh, more than that is not required so after taking the uh, this first bite now we will start with the continuous suture on the posterior ball uh, we follow the continuous technique you can also follow the interpret technique but if you follow this continuous continuous technique as being shown here then uh, the it won't uh, basically uh, impact the outcome and we progress approximately 3 to 4 mm so the distance between the two suture line will be 3 to 4 mm and we take edge of 4 to 5 mm one assistant is keeping the suture and uh, long end under the tension so that uh, i mean uh, these sutures the ends keep on opposing and we keep on progressing so usually in uh, 4 to 5 sutures you will reach the end of the this uh, gut if you are imposing the small bubble or you may require more but the progression should not be more than 3 to 4 mm more sutures can be taken 
so as we approach the end here is the problem that most of the uh, surgical trainees or the beginners will struggle and remember the reputation of the surgeon will leak at the corners so here at the corner we will convert to the corner always keep in mind that you should not uh, uh, basically they should not be knotting otherwise uh, you may have to start the procedure again so again important so as you reach the interior wall at the corner then we will uh, then we will switch our technique to the corner suture and as discussed in the theoretical part uh, now you will understand how to take the corner so so far all the sutures we have taken but from uh, basically inside the lumen we were entering one side the wall then entering the uh, outside then entering the other side and do remember these three p's practice practice with the precision and practice with the precision to achieve the perfection remember consistency and attention to detail are your best tool for the success and for a better learning experience and exclusive access to our premium content do download our app or join the channel membership the link for everything is given in the description and pin comments of this video so thank you very much friends uh, we will also demonstrate uh, these surgeries uh, during a uh, live uh, uh, I mean live surgery also so have better grasp and for your better understanding so I hope I was able to add some new insight to your knowledge thank you very much happy learning and do like the content share with your friends and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for the future updates thank you very much happy learning